Around 1 in 10 girls and 1 in 20 boys are sexually abused during childhood. Approximately 50% of those more serious abuses are performed by men with paedophilic disorder. In the majority of cases, the perpetrator is someone closely related to the child, an uncle, a football trainer, a priest, a teacher. This issue is hard to deal with and approach, but we must, because this problem affects us all. What is less known is that people with paedophilia voluntarily seek help for their sexual attraction to children. Around 100 patients a year come to the Centre for Andrology and Sexual Medicine at Karolinska University Hospital in Stockholm, Sweden. However, at present there is no evidence-based acute treatment, neither through psychotherapy or medicine, which would reduce the risk of child sexual abuse and exploitation. This problem has now been addressed in a new research project at Karolinska University Hospital. It aims at testing a promising new pharmaceutical that researchers believe may have an acute risk-reducing effect and is at the same time patient-tolerant. This project called Priotab is groundbreaking in many ways. Not only is this the first time that an acute treatment for paedophilia is being tested, it is also the first time that the best study design, randomized controlled trial, is being used in researching paedophilia. And most importantly, this study design allows results from the trial to be directly applied to clinical practice, not only in Sweden, but also internationally. Many want to get a temporary relief of their sexual urges. They are in crisis. They want help. At present, this research field is held back by a number of ethical and methodological issues. The few studies that have been performed indicate that available forms of psychotherapy and medicine may take months or even years to have any effect. So there is a great need for research on new treatment models, especially relevant in acute situations, to help those who are at risk of committing assault and to prevent the possibility of child abuse. Christopher Ram at the Karolinska Institute in Stockholm heads the new research directed at this problem. Researchers believe that the medicine called Degarelix has an acute onset within days. We will test a new pharmaceutical agent we believe to be effective in reducing the risk for men with pedophilic disorder committing sexual offences against children. We also believe it to be well tolerated by the patient. The medicine temporarily affects the balance of the testosterone system. This project will run from February 2016 to end of 2018 in order to remain neutral in the interpretation of data and be able to offer unbiased clinical recommendations based on the study results, the researchers have decided not to seek funding from the pharmaceutical industry. The researchers don't exclude the possibility that in clinical situations a medicine is not enough. Psychotherapy and social treatment are equally valuable, but for methodological reasons, one treatment needs to be tested at a time. By investigating the treatment effects on various individual risk factors, we increase our knowledge of not only the anti-testosterone drug class, but also which factors need to be addressed with other treatment strategies, such as psychotherapy and social interventions. The study aims at helping men with pedophilic disorder and thereby the children at risk. With this campaign, we want to raise money for our study. More specifically, we want to finance the pharmaceutical agent, the basic blood tests, the neuropsychological test batteries and a part-time research nurse. We ask for £38,000. There is a great need for effective and well-tolerated treatments for the prevention of abuse. Your donation, however big or small, will contribute to further research in finding one.